Hi there guys, so Anthony Joshua has been drafting in sparring partners to try and replicate the style of Andy Ruiz Jr. And it is apparent that he is not going to be able to replicate perfectly the style of Andy Ruiz Jr. Because Andy Ruiz Jr. like many fighters is unique and he has his own style. So while Anthony Joshua cannot perfectly replicate the style of Andy Ruiz Jr. in sparring, what he can do is build a picture of him. So what he basically can do is bring in sparring partners who are good at certain aspects of the game of Andy Ruiz Jr. So obviously bringing someone who has fast hands, bringing someone who has power, and bringing someone who brings the pressure and counter punching as well. Obviously it has been well publicised that he is going to bring in Derek Chisor at some stage, and obviously Timothy Mossin released some footage of him training at Anthony Joshua's gym, which looked quite possibly like he was there to train with Anthony Joshua. And now it has been revealed that Anthony Joshua has been sparring British heavyweight Tom Little. Now obviously Tom Little probably falls under the journeyman category, but he has fast hands, he is a bigger guy, he is about 6 foot 5 I think, but then obviously he has good hand speed. So that is obviously the aspect of Tom Little's game they are looking for, and he is a big physically imposing guy as well. But not only is Tom Little in Anthony Joshua's camp to spar with him, there is another fighter as well, German heavyweight Albon Pervisage, who has a 12-0 record with 9 knockouts, and has very fast hands, and has a bit of extra timber, just like Andy Ruiz Jr. So these are the kind of fighters that Anthony Joshua is bringing into camp to try and replicate the style of Andy Ruiz Jr. Because as I said, no one fighter will be able to do that. He needs to bring in different sparring partners who have different aspects of Andy Ruiz Jr.'s game within them. And that is what he is doing by bringing in Tom Little with the fast hands, Albon Pervisage also has fast hands, and reasonable power, 9 knockouts on his record out of 12. So obviously he is building this picture of Andy Ruiz Jr. and he is working on finding remedies for parts of Andy Ruiz Jr.'s game such as the pressure fighting, the fast hands and the power as well because I believe that Andy Ruiz Jr. has a surprising amount of power. Also Andy Ruiz Jr. doesn't necessarily counter punch Anthony Joshua but punches with him. Now obviously that does fall under the category of counter punching I guess but it's not so much slip a shot and then counter or catch a shot and counter. It's more punch with Anthony Joshua and if he has to take a few punches, then so be it. But that was how he got to Anthony Joshua last time. And Anthony Joshua needs to bring in sparring partners who are willing to throw with him. Because obviously a lot of sparring partners won't want to get beaten up or hurt by Anthony Joshua in sparring. So they will go on the back foot. But that is not what Anthony Joshua needs. He needs someone who is going to come forward, who is going to throw with him. Instead of just backing off and trying to box him on the back foot. Because Andy Ruiz Jr. won't do that. He will come forward and fight fire with fire. And that is what Anthony Joshua is trying to replicate in sparring with Albon Pervisage, with Tom Little and with Timothy Mottin. Also Derek Chisora. So you can see that Anthony Joshua is looking for those different aspects of Andy Ruiz Jr's game in different sparring partners. Because all of them possess different qualities and possess a different aspect of Andy Ruiz Jr's game. But guys, what are your thoughts on this? Anthony Joshua's new sparring partners. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.